All right, today's question is, how do you add custom fields with icons to your fields in a BD listing? So here's a example of a property example, and we want to, how do we add these fields in here, and how do we get an icon in front of uh, those variables? So let me go to my website here for my HudsonBuild.com. You notice I have a nice house here, uh, and it's using the metadata uh, 2.0 uh, side, widget, side panel widget. Um, and that's just built into BD. I'll show you where that is at in a second. But you notice the post details here, kind of boring. Bedrooms, bathrooms, it's got the numbers just like that. But they want to know, how do I add those icons in there? So I'm going to show you where that's at. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your, um, your toolbox form manager and then just open that up uh, and uh, go to the particular form you're looking at. I'm in the proper listings because that's what we're talking about today. Go to that form, scroll down to the particular property that you want and let's say property beds. You want to add the, the bed in there. Now you can add anything uh, that you uh, want. Uh, this is off from uh, the article in my directory toolkit where you can look up the font awesome icons. Just look up font awesome there and you'll find the entire list of the font awesome icons you can use. Uh, let's say you wanted to use the bath one here, that old fashioned one right there. So all you need to do is scroll down to that particular item in the list, your property beds, and then right before your bedrooms, uh, and this has been suggested before, you just have to add in that font awesome uh I guess code that's uh, built into BD, right? I class F A F A bath. Uh, add a space in there right before the uh, the variable there for the beds. Hit save, and then after you do that, realize that that was for bath, not beds, and you're going to go back and fix that. No big deal. Just delete that out. Add it in front of the bathrooms here, and we'll save that again. Now I'm going to go back to the web page. I'm going to show you what that looks like on here. I'm going to hit refresh. And lo and behold, right before the bathrooms, we have our bath icon that we picked out from the list. Again, uh, pick anything from the list, add that to the code. Uh, you just had to, need to change the FA uh, piece there and it will show up and it will look like that. Um, now it'll look like that on that. It will also look like that on the listing if you have it in, inside of the actual uh, listing um, in anywhere in the profile, but that's what it looks like. Um, so you can do the same thing for all these other other variables. Now you're saying, well, what if I don't want those fun, awesome things? I want an icon, totally also doable. So let's say you want this nice little cool bubbly bath here from Stockio for the, the free uh, bath there. Just go ahead and copy that Im image address. And then we're just going to use a simple image code. And again, uh, we can uh, you can look this up anywhere on the internet uh, for here. And I'll try to put this in the, the bottom uh, listing here for you to copy the code. But it's just a simple um, image code in HTML. So instead of that, just type in that image, quarter, uh, image code. We don't have a border. Always want to add that alt in there, number of baths. So when you hover it over, do you see that? And for the... Uh, um, impaired viewers as well it'll it'll use that on the code reader so number of baths and then just add the source for that image we just saw there i'm changing it to 15 by 15 because that's about the size of those uh fun awesome ones and then that's it just add it in front of there and hit uh save again i'm going to get rid of that space save changes and again, now I'm going to go back to the page, hit refresh, and now instead of the fave icon, I got that colored image icon there instead. Now, that's using the, the small value. If you wanted it larger, again, all you have to do is change that uh, the size of the image, and you're going to uh, have that uh, a larger. And that may be what you want. Now, realize it's going to uh, change the coding on this as well in terms of the size. So you may have to tweak with the actual uh, 2.0 widget there in order to make it show exactly how you want. But uh, here you have it. Just hit refresh. It, it will have the larger image of the 60 by 60 that we showed there. Maybe that's what you want to look at. You want to bed, you want to think for bedrooms, the pro type of property, square footage, and that'll add that icon in there for you. Now, if you're wondering what that icon is, again, this is on the property settings. So I'm just going to go to the, the setting. I'm sorry the sidebar manager for the toolbox sidebox manager. And that is a make sure I don't have a specific one. Nope, I don't. So that's just post search result. Or I'm sorry, post single page. And that'll be that sidebar. So in that post single uh, page sidebar, you're going to see a post details version 2.0 post meta details version 2.0 if you do not have that in there that is the one you need to do just go ahead and type in 2.0 into the available widgets and drag that over 
to the widget that you want for any particular profile and hit save changes. Again, it's going to be post single page if you have that. If you've cloned it for your properties already or for some of your other widgets, it may just be an article uh, post single page or a coupon post single page because I've made specific sidebars for those. If not, again, it's going to be in that post single page. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out. Again, that is how you add the icons in there. You can add a picture or or the uh, font awesome, whatever, whatever you want. And that is the widget if you do not have that or have not seen that uh, for the sidebar post two point metadata 2.0. Have a great day.